Can you tell us about your experience in customer success? In my previous role as a customer success manager at XYZ Company, I managed a portfolio of 50 plus clients, ensuring they achieved their desired outcomes through our software solutions. I developed and implemented customer success plans, conducted regular check-ins, and provided proactive support to address any issues. This helped in reducing churn by 20% and increased upsell opportunities by 15% over the past year. How do you handle a difficult or dissatisfied customer? When dealing with a difficult or dissatisfied customer, I always start by listening actively to understand their concerns fully. I empathize with their situation and acknowledge their frustrations. Then, I work on identifying the root cause of the issue and collaborate with internal teams to find a suitable solution. For instance, a client once faced significant downtime due to a technical glitch. I coordinated with the technical team to resolve the issue quickly and provided the client with regular updates. Post-resolution, I offered additional training to ensure they could maximize their use of our product, which helped rebuild their trust. How do you measure customer success and what metrics do you use? Customer success can be measured using several key metrics such as Net Promoter Score, NPS, Customer Satisfaction, CSAT Scores, Customer Lifetime Value, CLV, and Churn Rate. For example, at my previous company, we used NPS surveys to gauge customer loyalty and satisfaction. We also track product usage data to identify how customers were engaging with our product, which helped us tailor our support and training efforts to improve their overall experience. Can you describe a time when you successfully upsold a product or service to a customer? At XYZ Company, I had a client who was using our basic software package, but was facing challenges that our advanced package could address more effectively. I scheduled a meeting to discuss their specific pain points and demonstrated how the advanced features could solve their problems and add value to their operations. By providing a personalized walkthrough and sharing success stories from similar clients, I was able to convince them to upgrade to the advanced package, resulting in a 30% increase in their annual spending with us. How do you ensure that you stay updated with the latest industry trends and product knowledge? I believe staying updated with industry trends and product knowledge is crucial for a CSM. I regularly participate in webinars, attend industry conferences, and subscribe to relevant newsletters and blogs. Additionally, I collaborate closely with our product development team to stay informed about new features and updates. This continuous learning helps me provide valuable insights and recommendations to my clients, ensuring they benefit from the latest advancements. How do you prioritize your tasks and manage your time effectively? Effective time management is essential in a customer success role. I use a combination of task management tools and techniques like the Eisenhower matrix to prioritize my tasks based on urgency and importance. For instance, resolving critical customer issues and preparing for upcoming client meetings are always high priority tasks. I also allocate specific time slots for proactive customer outreach and follow-ups to ensure I maintain strong relationships with my clients. Describe a situation where you had to manage multiple stakeholders with conflicting interests. In one of my previous roles, I worked with a client who had different stakeholders from various departments, each with unique priorities and expectations from our software. To manage this, I facilitated a series of meetings to gather detailed requirements from each stakeholder group. I then created a comprehensive plan that addressed the primary needs of each group and presented it to them for feedback. By maintaining open communication and showing how the proposed solutions would benefit the organization as a whole, I was able to align their interests and gain consensus. What strategies do you use to improve customer retention? Improving customer retention involves proactive engagement and delivering consistent value. I focus on understanding each customer's goals and tailoring our interactions to help them achieve these objectives. Regular check-ins, personalized training sessions, and providing insights on how they can maximize their use of our product are some strategies I use. Additionally, I monitor usage patterns and health scores to identify at-risk customers early and address their issues before they escalate. This proactive approach has significantly reduced churn in my previous roles. How do you handle feedback from customers, both positive and negative? I view all feedback as an opportunity for improvement. 
Positive feedback is acknowledged and shared with the team to boost morale and reinforce good practices. For negative feedback, I follow up with the customer to understand their concerns in detail. I ensure them that their feedback is valued and take concrete steps to address the issues they've raised. For example, a client once pointed out a flaw in our reporting feature. I collaborated with the product team to prioritize a fix and kept the client updated throughout the process. This not only resolved their issue, but also demonstrated our commitment to continuous improvement. Why do you want to work for our company? I am impressed by your company's commitment to customer success and your innovative product offerings. Your emphasis on customer-centric values aligns with my professional ethos. I am excited about the opportunity to contribute to your team by leveraging my skills in relationship management and customer advocacy. I believe that my proactive approach and experience in driving customer satisfaction can help your company achieve its goals and enhance customer loyalty.